What's up Gamer Nation? This is Brandon from Top10Gamer.com coming at you with another gaming mouse review. This time it's the E-Blue Cobra Jr. Okay, so I bought the E-Blue Cobra about two months ago and I forced Brent, our cameraman, to use it and he's going to tell us a little bit about it. Okay, Brent, what did you think about the E-Blue Cobra Jr. model? I thought it was straight dirty. It was dirty, like when you used it, it became dirty, like got your hands dirty? No, like uh, straight balling. Straight balling? Um, I don't know, a better term, maybe dope. Ah, uh, drug reference, we all get that. Okay, for those of you who are 25 and older, it's straight epic. All right, anything else, Brent? No, it was, no. Okay, it's just straight balling and dirty. Dope. All right, thanks, Brent. Okay, now that we got that profound information from Brent, thanks Brent, we're gonna move on to the tech specs. Okay, so while I talk about the eBlue Cobra, here's a look at the tech specs. Now when I first got the eBlue Cobra, I was really surprised at just how big this mouse is. It's pretty long. Uh, I'd say it's ideal for people with medium to large sized hands. Those of you with small sized hands may wanna look for something else. Um, this particular uh, version of the Cobra has a very satin-like feel to it. It feels very much like the G9X wide grips, that, that satin kind of feel to it. Uh, the scroll wheel is made uh, similarly to other mice like the Death Adder, but it felt a little bit more flimsy, like over time you it might break on you. Uh, the eBlue also uses an Avago 5050 chipset sensor, which is cheap, but seems to be precise for the money you pay for this mouse. Uh, overall, the DPI switching, there's a button on the top that you can press for it. It feels good and the mouse feels well built for something you can get in the $12 to $15 price range. Uh, one problem I did notice is that I couldn't find a way to turn off the LED lighting. And these lights are bright, so if you keep your computer in your bedroom, then you'll definitely need to either unplug it at night or cover it. Yes, it's that bright. Okay, so while the eBlue Cobra was released in late 2011, about a year ago, they also released another model recently called the eBlue Mazer, which is a step up from the eBlue Cobra. Now, if you're in the $10 to $20 price range, it's worth looking at the Mazer because it has a better sensor in the Avago 5090 and a braided cable and additional DPI. You can switch between four DPI easily, 500, 1250, 1750, and 2500 DPI and eBlue says it has an extended click life. Another really cool feature you'll find on the Mazer is a thumb rest and pinky rest, which eBlue compares to aircraft wings. While some of that may be lost in translation, you can get the basic point. Another advantage that the Mazer has versus the Cobra is that it comes with a more durable rubble, rubber scroll wheel. Uh, just like any of their mouse, the eBlue Cobra and the eBlue Mazer both come ergonomically designed for right and left handers, so go out find the particular model that works best for you but if you're in the twenty dollar price range you're going to want to also look at the CM Storm Zornet, the Perix MX 1000 Iron, the Gigabyte Dual Lens Gaming Mouse and the Team Scorpion X Luca which you might prefer in the twenty dollar price range at the ten dollar price category the Cobra takes the cake okay so to help you guys get a grasp of what the eBlue Cobra really looks like and the size of it, I put it up here against the Logitech G9X with the precision grips on. Of course the G9X would look a little bit bigger with the wide grips on, but as you can see it's pretty long. Um, I would say that it's just a little bit longer than my G500 as well. Uh, the eBlue Cobra Jr. don't make that mistake of thinking that it's a mini mouse or anything like that. The difference between the Jr. model and the standard eBlue Cobra model is simply in the DPI. The, the junior model can switch between three DPI and the, and the other model can switch between four DPI for up to 2,500. This particular model goes up to 1,600 DPI. Okay, that's my review of the eBlue Cobra. If you liked it, press the subscribe button and the like button below. If not, then you probably wet the bed and have mommy issues. Since we don't have a funny moment of the day, eh, now you have one.